Welcome back to Bad Axe Bourbon. I'm Bobby. Ooh, chunks are flying. Oh my goodness. Chunks are flying in my face, man. I can start wearing some safety goggles around this sucker. All right, mm -hmm. you see what we got here? We got Duke, named after John Wayne, right? Duke, le oh, legendary Duke. All right, legendary Duke. John Wayne, Kentucky straight bourbon whiskey, distilled and blended in Kentucky. Five year age statement. I've heard it's a blend of between five and eight ish years, maybe nine years though. So five's the low, so you gotta put five on there, right? We got 88 proof. The proof is a little lower than I normally like. But we're gonna find out. So it's a nice bottle. It's a classy looking bottle, classy looking label. Doing the Duke justice, right? Guy yeah, says Duke on the cork right there. It looks like a real cork. Yeah. So just the Duke. I know the Duke probably holds a soft spot for some good memories for a lot of people. I'm, I'm, I know it does, and it does for me as well. My Papa passed a few years ago, but John Wayne, the Duke, was that was his favorite actor of all time. And my papa was an incredible man. So here's you, Papa. He liked John Wayne so much. He named the first dog that I knew he had when he when he grew up. This is on a dairy. My my grandparents owned a dairy. Hardest working man I knew. Right? And that must that must be where I get it. Anyway. Hardest working man I knew. And the nicest man I knew. But the first time I've had this, the only other time I've had this was in Fort Worth, Texas. A place that where I'd like to live there or around there somewhere down in Texas. Right, that Metroplex area. But I had an old fashioned there, downtown Fort Worth, and it was Stockyards. It was Stockyards, right? It's some old theater looking place. I forget the name of it. Next to uh, Tacoba's boot place. Which I happened to get some boots too. <laughs> had to get some Tacobas while I was there, right? The Lucchese's were a little too expensive. Although I've got some of those now too. Anyway, back on track, Bobby. I hadn't had any of this before. We went in there, wanted an old fashioned. They gave me an old, made me an old fashioned with Duke. Uh, all right, sounds good. I've never had it. Let's try it. And it was pretty dang good. It's one of the, it was up there. I'm not going to say it was the best old fashioned I ever had because I think old fashions I make, the bad axe old fashions, are the, the best. <laughs> Those are my favorite old fashions because I make them exactly how I like them, right? Exactly how I like them. But anyway, I'm going to try it right here. I've never had it neat. I'm going to do that right now, right? Let's do it. Need a bad axe knife here. Let's open this sucker up. It's a fresh crack, right? And a real cork. This is Duke. Duke on there, right there. Duke. All right. I like it. It's a good start. It's a good start. Get the bottle with. It's light. But. But no, it doesn't always mean anything, right? It's light, though. I'll say that, it's like, we got all the notes, Ooh. it smells light, it doesn't smell bad, it just smells light, it doesn't smell like Jack Daniels or George Dickel, that's a good start. 
Wrong word. Fact. Not bad. It's a decent smell. There's not a, any really strong notes of much caramel, vanilla, and normal. Normal notes. A little uh, fun fact is that uh, John Wayne actually had a humongous collection of whiskeys, bourbons, whiskeys, and he wanted to start his uh, own distillery. Or he, or he wanted to make his own juice, I'll just put it that way. He wanted to do that. Fact! And his son found that out, and uncovered his collection, and started making this stuff. And called it Duke, right? It's pretty brave, I think. Pretty bold, putting a name of some of someone that's very, very famous. Now you gotta try to live up to that, right? So, at 88 proof, I don't know if that's gonna happen, right? <laughs> But we'll find out. We'll find out. It is great and old fashioned. So there's that. And it was like $38. So wasn't breaking a bank on it. All right. Pretty, it's good on the nose. It's very light. Normal notes. Yeah, it's very light. Maybe some honey. Maybe a, a worn out saddle. <laughs> with leather, I guess. All right. Let me get some on the palate. You know, it's not bad. It's not hitting a home run or anything. Medium heat, it dissipates really quick. Sweet on the tip of the tongue. A little bit of a warm simmer in the middle, goes away pretty quickly. You know, it's like, ooh, a little bit of floral note, which I normally don't like, but I don't mind it right now. It's like a, maybe a lavender, something like that. Let me see, let me check that one. Yeah, that's, it's pretty good. I mean, it's, there is some floral in there. I'll take back the lavender, but it's a little bit floral. A little bit of leather, some honey. You know, that uh, vanilla caramel, more honey, I think, though. Maybe the slice bit of char, maybe, I'll just call it, I wouldn't call it char, I'll call it maybe smoke. Right, because it's, it's not dark, it's just kind of there. It's good. It's, I would say it's average. It's average. I mean, it's, it's, it's decent. I would sit down and sip this with a buddy. That's what they want to, that's what they want to sip. If they're just big Duke fans, they're big Duke guys, and they want to sip it, I got it. Let's sip it. All right. But, but anyway, I got to rate this thing, right? We're going right down the middle. It's not knocking out of the park. It's average, I would say. So we're going to go three right down the middle. We got three axes, baby. Three axes. <laughs> Woo! Three axes. All right. Duke, Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey, 88 proof. Three axes. All right. That's that. All right. What do we like to say on this channel? Sharing good bourbon with friends and family is bad acts. Fact. I'm Bobby, thanks for watching. Till next time.